Hello friends, in today's session we will discuss about the curvature and radius of curvature. So we have seen curved path and we have seen that the curved paths do have bendings. So basically curvature of a curve let's say at any point is actually measure of the bendness so is a measure of sharpness of the bending of the curve at that point so we know that some of the curve will have more bending and some of it will have less bending so let's discuss more on this and let's get this in the coordinate system so let's say we have got an arc AB here AB is the arc which is your curve in this case and let's say A point is fixed so let's say we are taking two points on the curve and let this be P and Q. Considering the length AP is S and AB is S plus del S. Now drawing tangent to this curve at point P and Q, let's say it makes an angle of psi and psi plus del psi with the initial axis so the length of the arc pq will be arc length aq minus ap that will be simply del s now with all this information we can see that in order to move from point p on the curve to point q the change in the arc length is del s and the change in the bending is actually del psi okay so we can say in moving from p to q making a distance of del s the tangent turns through an angle of del psi right so this del psi is actually the angle del psi is actually total bending of the curve that is arc PC this total bending or total curvature apart from this the ratio of the change in the angle and the length that is del psi by del s is actually the mean curvature which is also known as average curvature of the arc PQ now if we start limiting the point Q to P in that case del S will actually tends to 0 so let's say if P the point P starts coming closer to Q del S will start tending towards zero so with this the limiting value of this mean curvature we have just found mean curvature will be given when the point Q tends to P and therefore we can say that this is what we call curvature 
of the curve at point P. So we can say the curvature at this point P will be actually limits of del S tends to 0 dou or del psi by del S which will be given as d psi by ds. So this curvature at this point P will be actually denoted by k. So we can say k will be limits of del s tends to 0 for del psi over del s. And for k not being equal to 0, the reciprocal of the curvature at the point P of this curve will actually be named as radius of curvature. So we can say that 1 over k which is ds over d psi and this radius of curvature is actually denoted by rho. So this radius of curvature rho is actually ds by d psi. Also we will see that the curvature of at any point let us say P of curve actually depends only on the position of the curve and does not depend on the system coordinates. So depends only on the position of the point and there, are, there is certain relation between S and psi and which is known as intrinsic equation of the curve. So this psi depends on S and this relationship is actually intrinsic equation in terms of psi and S. So this was all about the curvature and radius of curvature and we should also take care that k and rho signs are always taken to be positive. So I hope you understood and we will see further things on this topic. Thank you.